Hi, I'm Joe Glass, and I'm 19. I'm Tyler Slippy, and I'm 19. I am Zach Smith, and I am also 19. And we are the Ghoul School. We come to you today to present to you an idea that we've been manifesting for a couple years now. We're trying to bring a whole new demographic to TV and to your program. Um, basically, we're just here to pitch an idea that we've been working on for a couple years, like I said. Me and Joe here started hunting ghosts whenever we were in about 10th grade, and we're going into our second year of college now. And then we picked up Zach along the way a little bit later down the road. But we're basically here just to present to you something that we have a passion for and that we've always been interested in. And we want to show people the mysterious sides of life and show them that we're interested in it. And we want to get to the bottom of it, um, have no fear involving it, and really just present to you guys a new fun twist on the whole ghost hunting show. I know there's a couple around, but we're here to, pre to present a new, maybe younger... Um, less, more light-hearted sense to it. Cooler. Cooler. Um, just more, you know, just still keep it professional, but a whole new... Keep it hip. Yeah, we'll be hip for you. Yeah, um, that's what we have. Like br bring a whole new um, perspective and a whole new another kind of ghost hunting show and just really try to uh, help the network out. So, thank you. I hope you watch our video. It's about 10 minutes long. I hope you can spare that time. So here it is. Cool school. What is that? Is that on the roof? Is that like the roof right there? I think so. Holy oh, There's a f dude on there. What? I'm not even f kidding you. Right. That is, oh my, are you f kidding me? Alright, so we're going to get Samuel. Sammy. And we're meeting up with Slippy later to go to the Gene Bonet tonight. How do you feel about this place? I'm I'm very excited. This Are you is my scared? first. This, this is the goal school. First, yeah, the goal school. We're gonna take these goals to school. There's Slippy. Yo! Hey man. We doing this? Huh? We doing this? What? Are we doing this? Doing it. We're doing a G-Bone day. Woo! Doing it. Uh, what are your experiences here at the G-Bone day? <laughs> have, you, have you seen any ghosts? Have you seen the ghost of the G-Bone day? Here we are, Sam. You know what? Here we go. Can't you believe we made it. You scared? Uh, yeah, you know what Same I am. Same as whole demeanor change. Cause like... Yeah. Tyler Slippy, Joe Glass, and you, Zach Smith. The right before... Sammy yeah. Ellis is pooping. Turn the camera on you. Fuck. Sammy Ellis <laughs> must be pooping. Alright, we need to go get our equipment set up soon. We're in for a long night here. <laughs> the bug <laughs> is... It's people. There's a whole bunch out there and in here. I guess they have a couple at a time. It's a book of your experience of the year. Or your... Of the night. <laughs> <laughs> of the night. And you write your experience from your night. And there's a lot of people talking about ghost seas. The bully highball. <laughs> White lady's supposedly a maid or something, so we're leaving. I'm gonna even Genesis change out. 32. Putting shirts on the ground. Put my backpack there. Hopefully, something picks these up or moves them. They'll be exactly where they're at in this video. Trust me. I want to know about this stuff too. We got pizza. We got pizza. We got. Well, what do you say, Joe? We got we got <laughs> colonial cigars for colonial ghosts. Okay, these 
using my 13 ghost goggles so I can see the ghosts. I'm not trying to impress anybody, even though they are really cool. Anyway, so the guy took us up on a tour around this place, and he told us that a, man, a red coat dude stands here like this, and in here, the cleaning lady, I'll give a little demonstration. She goes like this, and she cleans his toilet. And she said she looks out back and she sees the red coat standing there like that. So we're going to try to look for some stuff. We should have brought females. We should have. To provoke it. <laughs> yeah. Because no, he wants some. Who Sammy, wants that booty? You have to sit here and be like. Sammy, you got to tuck that dick and balls between your <laughs> legs. First activity tonight. <laughs> this moth came straight from the netherworld. Whatever happens tonight, we're the brotherhood. Of, of the traveling pants. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Ghost, ghost on three. One, One two, two, three, ghosts. Ghost. My face is swollen. I got some coffee. I got some EVP. My friend Sammy. Doing 68 cola. cents. Um, we're going down to the fireplace. There's Joe, the ghost. High five. Excuse me. Uh, me and Sammy are going down. It's gonna be scary. As me and yeah, you. Me, we're staying I'm together. Scared. Staying. I'm scared. All right, so we get the keys. Yeah. I'm scared right now. I'm scared right now. Going <laughs> for some EVP. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah. I'm going in. Me and Sammy. What does EVP? What does EVP stand for? Evaporating <laughs> very personable. <laughs> Electronic voice, voice phenomenon. phenomenon. And I just heard that. We're professional. Sammy, no fear. Sammy, no fear. A weird shaped head, but anyways. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> While downstairs, Slippy and Sammy were taking some EVPs in a room known for seeing an apparition by the fireplace. They came up moments later with what they thought was evidence. I was listening to it. it was, I was listening to it happen. I go, I'm hearing some breathing, and then it just goes. What did it go? Three minutes. What did it go? <sighs> After that epic fail, Joe and Zach moved upstairs. Did they're talking about subjects we heard that you don't want to talk about, like living. That you? That crack? Yeah. No, it came from a from you. No, it came from right beside me. That wasn't me. <laughs> I thought you like cracked your ankles. No further activity, Zach and Joe decided to leave the camera upstairs alone in hopes of capturing audio. This is what we found. While this was happening upstairs, Sam and Zach decided to explore downstairs in the fireplace room, hoping to catch visual evidence of the afterlife. What Zach caught shocked all of us. You know, I hate it. I don't like anything about this. What is that? Is that on the roof? Is that like the roof right there? I think so. Oh, there's a dude on there. What? I'm not even kidding you. That is, oh my, are you kidding me? I'm not even Like, I have the chills so bad right now. They looked like there was a f***ing dude standing right there. I thought this was a part of the f***ing bathroom. Which way Are you sh- You're f***ing sh me, dude. I'm not even joking. Go around there. Go, go see if there's a f***ing person. I'm not like I'm not going with. I'm seeing if like just just stay here then, and I'll go around. I'm like not even you when I said I swear I saw somebody out there.
Zack and Sam searched for this person he saw in the window for quite some time afterwards to no avail. What is that? Is that on the roof? Is that like the roof right there? Afterwards, Zack said he saw a man with a mustache and a Civil War uniform from the chest up. I analyzed the footage and edited it in order to try to make it more visible. In frame one, you can barely see the bottom of the window in this frame because Zack is moving the camera upwards. In frame two, you can see a slight shadow of a figure in the upper part of the screen within the light of the window. In frame three, you can see the apparition of a man holding something over his shoulder in the window. Could this be a man from the war holding a gun over his shoulder? This is a zoom shot of frame three so you can clearly see the apparition in the window. In frame four, nothing is in the window. Whatever was there is now completely gone. Around 5 a.m., the toilet flushed on its own. This has been said to happen in the nighttime hours. It is said the spirit of the ex-maid of the Jean Bonnet is the one who does this. Okay, so we're sitting here at 5 a.m. Toilet flushed. The toilet flushed on its own, just like they said it would. So. Uh, that could just be a plumbing problem. I mean, this was up like this. And, and stuff I don't, like that? Yeah. And when I put this up, it went down, which could happen, but someone would have to put it up. Yeah, someone would have to put it up. That's the thing. Like, look, that's not going up by itself. No. Okay, so that was the end of our night. It was a pretty crazy night for all of us, I'd have to say. Sam was our special guest that day, I guess. He, uh, he was pretty scared. I think he said a total of ten words the whole night. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we just wanted to thank, uh, whoever's watching this. We wanted to thank the Jean Benet Tavern. They were super cool in our investigation, giving us a tour and everything, letting us be around the whole place at night. Thank you to the Jean Benet Coffee Pot. Thank you. For Jean keeping us awake. Because That's true. we made at least three cup, two pots. All right, well, this is the whole school, and we're out. Get you later. Go you later. School you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you at school, you cool.